So what I want to establish is a good cross collar grip. All right, so when I get this grip, I'm trying to make sure that my thumb is at least next to his neck here. If I open up my hand, you're gonna see my thumb ends up right behind his ear. I'm kind of following the jawline. My grip is down here, it's not that great. So I wanna to try to find this grip. I'm controlling the sleeve on this side. Now what's gonna happen, I'm gonna open my guard. When I open my guard, my weight is gonna transfer onto my hamstrings. So I'm actually lifting my hip up and I'm letting that weight sit on the top of his legs. I'm gonna swivel my hips to the side and I'm gonna bring this knee in and up. So I have my knee in front of his shoulder here. Okay, my other foot is gonna go to his hip. And now what I need to make happen, I need to either get him to push into me or I need to figure out how I can load him over the top of my hips. So the easiest reaction to get is usually to push into the person a little bit, and when you feel them pushing back, two things are gonna happen. This leg is gonna drop to the outside of his leg, and the other shin is gonna kick into his armpit. So I feel that push back, and I fire the sweep off. When we come up to the top, we're gonna establish chest down, arms wide. Also a great opportunity if you have this grip already, you can start attacking your choke right off of the sweep. First thing I need to establish is that cross collar grip. If my partner has good posture, it's hard to get that deep grip. I'm just going to go two on one like I'm holding a baseball bat. I'll grab the collar two on one. Now I lift my feet, pull with my knees and pull the collar. Now I keep the one grip on the collar, the hand slides up until I have the grip that I need. I'm anchoring my forearm to his chest so I have a frame here. Now I have the grip on the collar I need. I'm gonna get the sleeve grip. I'm gonna swivel my hips so I have to unlock the guard first. My weight goes onto my legs. I lift my hip off the mat. I swivel my hip to the side. I bring the knee in and up until it's in front of his shoulder. I put my other foot on the hip to control distance. What I don't want to do here, I don't want to put this leg over here. That's going to allow him to put weight over that leg and start to collapse. I'm keeping it in front of this opposite shoulder, the opposite side from the hand and the collar. It's going to be the middle of my shin that kicks into his armpit at this angle. So what I'm looking to do here, I'm looking to get him to push back into me. So if I push him, he starts pushing. That's my reaction here to hit my sweep. So I'm gonna drop the foot. That's gonna chop in and this is gonna kick. Just like a pair of scissors, hence the name scissor sweep. Like I said, we can go right into the choke here. But what we're gonna do, just establish our position.